Hey gamers, welcome back to my channel. Thank you to my subscribers and welcome new subscribers. In today's Throwback Thursday video, we're going to be playing Oregon Trails. As you can see, we're almost to Oregon. As always, I will have the playlist linked in the description box below and the cards up top in the video. I now also have links in my outro for each playlist. And if you'd like to subscribe. So it looks like our first journey or leg of the journey is going to be a blue mountains. So let's take a look at our characters and make sure everything is good, which looks like everything is good. So let's depart. Hopefully the sound effects are not too loud. If they are, I will turn them down for next week. But I didn't realize that there was little birdie sounds. All right, let's head to the Blue Mountains. Avoid contracting cholera. Avoid contracting dysentery. Oh, oh man, they're testing us this time. All right. Here we go. Okay. So, hmm. How much food did we have? Um, we've got quite a bit of flour. Okay, let's, oops, this one. I kind of want to go see what this one is. With some apprehension, the party surveys the imposing mountains ahead. The final stretch of the long trail to Oregon traverses daunting terrain, to be sure. All right, here we go. Oh, that was something to collect. A woman draws near, dressed in rough garb of a fur trapper. You folks heading west? You'll need meat, then, and I'll sell it cheaper in the forts. Lord knows I can't carry it all back anyhow. Yeah, how much do you want then? The woman gestures at her supplies. What should the party do? Oh, I don't got money. Uh, uh, plead poverty. What do I look like? Priest? No money, no meat. I'll find some other folks to sell to. Okay. Oh, killy dokely. Oh, what are those? Spotted skunks. Ooh. Oh, another elk. No? Okay. Oh. Oh, it's a hunting spot. Um, you know what? Let's get a bit, let's get a little bit of, of meat. Let's do Oscar. Oscar examines the hunting ground ahead of him. It seems like he'll be able to find a few animals. Okay. No, I missed it and I wasted bullets. Darn it. Oh, so it's gonna take two. Nope. Oh, snaps. Oh, he ran away. Oh, I got one. Okay. Oh, oh, I missed him. Meh, a little bit of meat. Oh, ten bullets, yeah, I'm not good at that. Fifty meat. Uh, let's see what we can do. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Okay, two pelt. Okay, that's fine. All right. I'm going. What are these? Oh no, we're gonna have to take one of those. Let's go to the other question mark. Nothing bad. Ha oh, snaps the uh, the shooting guy again. Oh. Howdy, good to see you. Nice to have some 
continuity out here. You won fair and square last time we tangled. Game for a rematch? I don't have any money. On your own head be it. See you down the trail, if you live that long. Okay. And no need to be rude. But darn it, that would have been a good thing. Ooh, ooh, a bear. Ooh, a grizzly bear. Oscar lets out a wheezing cough. His poor health is beginning to exact a toll. No. Frederick has heard rumors of a local plant known as Devil's Club. Crushed, its roots and stem may be used as a poultice on wounds or ingested as a health tonic. Searching for this plant may take some time, if it can be found at all. Um... No, I'll, I'll give him something right now. Okay. Um... Hold on. So his health... His health is okay. Oh, that's Frederick. His health is okay. Okay. I'll keep an eye on him, but his health is okay. Fuck. Oh, another hunting spot? Um... Okay. Okay, let's do better this time. Oh, snap. Whoa. How am I supposed to shoot that? Oh, okay. Got one. Oh, I only hit it once. Okay. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Nope. Okay, I'm done. Whatever. Wasted some bullets, too. Ten more. Aye. Okay, let's get some more pelts, of course. All right. Another hunting. Let's go. Let's go this way. Okay, everybody seems to be good still. Oh. <gasps> A bouquet of wildflowers rests against a lone marker on the side of the trail. A fresh mound of earth beneath it. Surrounding grass barely recovered from a recent trampling. Something has been carved into the stone. Words for whoever lies below. Frederick decides to approach the marker and read the words aloud. Oh, I'm scared. It's a little doll. <gasps> no! It reads... Our only child, little Mary, four years old. Frederick's voice drops to a whisper as he reads the last words. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Little Mary, all her and Chastaway were best friends and they're both gone. No. Oh. Oh, now the whole party is going to be so sad. Frail monument. Oh, no. You've unlocked frail monument epitaphes. Oh, no. Our poor little Mary. And I think her husband's gone, too. <gasps> no. We are not doing this game. A sudden cry rings out across the trail. Francis's foot has been crushed under the wheel of the wagon. Toes may be broken. Yahoo! Inspect the injury, please. Oh no, and Francis can't do it herself? All right, well, let's give Frederick these skills. Oh, uh, no. Frederick examines the injured foot, but cannot determine the extent of the injury nor the proper course of treatment. When Frances tries to put her weight onto the foot, the pain is nearly too much to bear. Ah. Depending on the extent of her injury, a good rest may be all Frances needs. If the injury is more severe, however, forcing her to walk will likely invite greater misfortune. All right, let's rest. 
I'm not so I'm not risking anything. Francis takes some time to rest, and after a few hours, the pain subsides. It seems she suffered no permanent damage. A lucky happenstance, indeed. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Back on the trail. Ooh, a wasp. And an elk. Ooh, wow, we just got a bridge. Okay, Lewis and Clark. Oh, what is that? The party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. Oh, no. Okay. Um... We have one more question mark. What is this one? For hygiene. Um... Hmm. Do I want to go the route that'll take me towards hygiene? Or do I want to check out the question mark? I think I want to check out... Oh, but I have quite a bit of meat, don't I? Okay, that's repaired. I have quite a bit of food. How much medicine and herbs do I have? Maybe we'll go that way. Oh, but that's... That's berries for food, too, I think. Hmm. Okay, berries or meat or fish? Let's go meat and then question mark. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, the morale went up. Oh, is that something to collect? A Canada lynx? Whoa. We're collecting a lot of new animals. Heck yes. Oh, that would make sense. It's been a different journey, huh? What were those? More raccoons? A field of red spread out before the wagon. Not blood, but flowers. These, such as these, are not native to this land. They must have been brought here by prior migrants and taken root in this new soil. Ooh. Poppy seeds can be refined into londinum, a useful tincture for relieving injuries and illness. The process, however, would be both lengthy and laborious. Yes, please. The party sets to work harvesting and refining the flowers. After many hours, the task is done. With a number of medicinal tinctures, the hard one results. Yay, I can totally use that. Okay, what do we got? 20 herbs? Good, because they're only worth one, so it's cool. All right, how is everybody looking real fast? Your energy is a little low, so is yours. And s hmm. I think we're okay for right now. Hopefully we're okay for right now. Oh, we're at the hunting place. Um... 235. I think, honestly, we're gonna push on. Just got some berries. Oh, that's right. I want the question mark. I almost forgot. Okay. Oh, karate? No! Friends, Frederick, please. Darn it. Nope. Oh, no. Let's repair one of them for now. Oh, and exposed, three exposed. Okay, well, all right. Darn it. Ooh, another journal entry. We'll have to check all those out. See what they are. Ooh. Oh, another hunting spot. That's what that was. We are getting low, so we will do it this time. Yes. Looks like bears, so hopefully they're easy. Okay. 
What do we get? Oh, I have to do it twice. Okay, got it. Oh no, more than that. There we go. Ah. Uh, well, okay. Probably 10 bullets again, ready? 13, out. Not so good at hunting. Yes, please. Okay. All right, looks like this way it is. Oh, my wagon. Oh, hey. I have like no money. Oh, waterlogged? No. All right, fine. Okay, oh, another bear. Black bear. Oh, him again? I have no money. Bob Saget. Should have saved more than four dollars. I apologize. I did not read any of that. I just realized. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm so sorry. And I just kind of scooted past it. I was not paying attention. I apologize. Ah, so I really don't know what's going on. But that coward Kogan took away a father, husband, and brother with one bullet. He's got a wreck in a coming. Maybe I'll see you at Fort Nez Pierce. You can keep the silver dollar. Oh, I got a dollar. Woohoo, I got five dollars, but I don't know what just happened. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, gamers. The party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. Oh, it's all the dragoons. Whoa, wait. There's a bunch of bunnies. Did I get them all? Okay. Greetings, travelers. It's good to see your faces. Most everybody's here. A truly remarkable effort. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Though we couldn't save everybody, this is frankly more than I'd ever expected. We have a sizable reward for you. Each of us pooled our resources so we'd have something to give you. Best of luck on your journey. Ooh, $70. We're not broke. Well, we completed that quest. The Peori Party. So neat. Okay. Oh, we're almost to Blue Mountains. The group. Oh. No, no, we're okay. We're okay. Thank you, though. No animals to collect. But we are almost there. All right. Oh, I didn't get their hygiene taken care of. Darn it. Blue Mountains are the final mountain range that the party must traverse before reaching Oregon. Despite the long, arduous journey, the travelers can't help but be awed by the majestic of nature. Oh, we got a harmonica. Cool. Okay, let's talk to people. Oh, Jacob Hofstetter again. This valley of the Grand Renaud is the most beautiful sight I've seen in months. Abundant water and grass for grazing. And if this valley is so fine, the Willamette must be twice as fine. We'll be sitting pretty in our new homestead. 
All right, Marnie Stewart. We followed the edge of the desert from Fort Boise to the forbidding wall of the Blue Mountains. The hills were dreadful steep, locking both wheels and coming down slow. We got down safe. Poor animals though, no grass or water for days. An overlander. Since crossing the snake at Fort Boise, it's been just mountains and desert. Dust deeper each day, six inches at times. No tracks, just clouds of dust. Many cattle choked on the dust after swimming in the river, then bled and died. Oh my goodness. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, let's see here. I can do a coffee. Okay. And I only have one close. I mean, he's the worst right now, and I'm gonna see if I can try and trade for more clothes then. Ooh, ooh, what do we have? Okay, um, that goes for composure, I think, right? What does it go for? Yeah, composure plus one. Okay, so his, okay. He's level two, she's mastered. Okay, so let's give it to Oscar because he's only level three, okay? So you go to Oscar and Harmonica. We don't need that right now. This can go with the coffee then. Okay, let's take those out of exposed. And also let's take that out of an exposed area. I got flower too. Okay, so let's. Okay. Put you there. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. You can go right there. Oh, snaps. You need out of an exposed area. Uh, let's see. Can I put... You're kind of by an exposed area, but not so much. So hopefully it'll be okay. Um, and trade. Supplies. I can't get clothes. Let's get toolboxes. Oh, can I get toolboxes? Let's do pelt. Okay. Let's go to the wagon. All right, let's do... Why is it locked? You cannot use that item at this moment in the event. Oh. Okay, so we can't repair yet, but we'll do it in just a minute. Okay. Is it because I'm in this menu? Now can I do it? Yes, now I can do it. Okay, I want this one. I want this one. Okay. Hopefully that'll be okay. Alright. We don't necessarily need to rest. Let's uh, depart. Alright. Fort Nez Pierce. Collect herbal remedies to get 48. Reach the next settlement in eight days to get 36. Alright. Okay, let's see. Wagon repair or fishing? Um how much food do we have again? Ah, uh, we're getting kind of low, but we have a lot of bait. Let's try... Let's go fishing. Why not? The party sets out again, entering the final stretch. It has been a long and laborious voyage, but it is nearly over. I wasn't able to get close. Darn it. Yeah, I'd seen that coming just now. 
Oh, oh I mean, we can do it. Yeah, why not? Um, okay. Let's try $20. Why not? Oh, I really hope I can do it this time. <laughs> How do you want to do this? A trial of speed, judgment, accuracy, or maybe sheer nerve? Shoot only when told to. Pure shooting skill. Choose which bottle to shoot. Let's do... Oh. Speed is shoot the correct target quickly. Let's do... Judgment again. And Oscar. Okay. Oh, well, let me... Oh, it will. Okay, cool. The game is simple. Line yourself up to shoot, but wait until George says go. Got it. I understand. Let's go. Okay, so it's gonna be right her. What? That was the first word. Not fair. Not fair at all. Oh, there's a fox right here. Okay, ready? I'm hungry. Okay. Wait for it. Okay. I'm hungry. Bruh, you're not nice. Go. Yeah, buddy. Ready? Watch it be the first word. What the heck, man? Ugh. Whatever. My dude be stanky. Let's go. It's half a <laughs> Okay. I wonder if I left the kettle on. Risky. Cough. I think you should get that cough checked out. Go. I lost. I don't remember. I think that's the second time. Yeah. So this is the third time. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready for it to be the first word for him. Yeah. But like the fourth or fifth word for me? I see how this game works. I see. It's rigged. Okay. I got this. Heck yes, I'm ready. Cough at me again. Wait for it. Uh huh. Wait for it again. Drawing it out. Go. Yeah, buddy. I did it. That was some fun shooting. That kind of cool hand and cool head will serve you well out here in the frontier. Here's your money. And thanks for taking my mind off my troubles for a while. Yes. Boop, boop. For a moment, the gunslinger looks at his feet, his hard face clouded for the first time by indecision. Francis can sense the struggle inside him, the terrible weight of the decision he has to make. Finish his quest for vengeance or let go of the anger and hatred. Oh. Let's let go of the anger and hatred. Does it give me a choice? Whatever is said might sway his decision one way or the other. Whoever talks to the gunslinger should probably have a way with words. So at the moment, that's Oscar. What should Oscar tell the gunslinger to do? Convince him to abandon his quest for vengeance or convince him to finish what he started? Uh, abandon his quest. 
Did it work? Three hours later, Oscar talks with the gunslinger for what seems like hours. The man listens intently, and by the end, Oscar is fairly certain he has convinced him to give up his quest of violent revenge. Oh, did we do it? Hopefully the right thing. I guess I got a load of hard thinking to do. I'll see you at the Dales, where all this will be settled, one way or another. Oh, snaps. Hopefully we made the right decision, and hopefully he does too. Yeah, there goes my wagon. Oh no. Let's let the oxen rest. Okay, given a full day to rest, the oxen seems much better by the next dawn, and is able to pull the wagon again without further harm. Cool. Oh. Our hygiene is going to... Sweet! Oh, the fishing pole! Perfect. Oh, but we got rid of the traps. I wanted to try it. It's okay. Let's go fishing! Um, Oscar. Okay. I'm not entirely good at this one, but we'll try. Oh, it's just really dark, deep here. What the? Oh, he's facing the wrong way. Um, hold on. Let's try over here. It's closer. Did we get both of them? Ooh. Trophy quality fish? Oh, it was over here. Darn. Oh, we only caught one. Okay. I unfortunately... Oh, I didn't get that one. Oh, there's a big fish right here. Ah! Yeah, see, I'm not too good at this one. What? Darn it. Oh, I did catch that one? Nice, and that one's bigger. Cool. Alright, about 40 pounds. Let's try and do... Oops, one more if we can. Ooh, right here. Okay. Oh, you have to get it right when it sinks. Okay, got it. Okay. Let's... Let's see, how do I... Oh, no, I don't want that. I guess it's just escape, right? End game. Okay. Fifty-five pounds. Oh. Uh. Oh, got it. Okay. Um. Let's go check out. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's go this way, and then we can go this way and collect herbal remedies. So we gotta arrive in five days. Uh -oh. Hopefully we can. Hopefully. I wonder if we should speed it up a little bit. Oh, give me that. <sighs> oh, what is this? Grown. Uh-oh. Clutching his abdomen, the man winces as he looks up at the party's approach. Pony Bob. Travelers, thank goodness you've come. Please, you must help me. I need to deliver my mochila, the saddlebag on my horse. I'm injured and I can't go on, but this delivery can't wait. I ride for the Pony Express. We deliver mail across the West. 
We have not yet missed a delivery, and it's of vital importance that this one isn't missed either. But I'm not sure I can reach the next station in the state. Please don't worry about me. The mochilla and its contents are more important than my life. And let's... Let's, um... Uh, give him a medicine, why not? Francis. I appreciate it, Traveler. You worked miracles, it seems. I should be able to make my way to the next station. Once I've handed off the delivery, I shall rest up and wait. Just make your way to the station when you can. I would like to reward you properly for assisting me today. Thank you, Travelers. I will see you soon, I hope. Oh, yay! Did something good. Okay. Did she get... Did she go up for that? I don't remember. Oh, are we... Oh, it's a, um, hunting ground. Let's... We only have 17 bullets. Unfortunately, I'm gonna push on. I don't wanna risk those last bullets. Okay, here. No. No. Oh. She's okay with that. She just needs clothes, and I don't have clothes. Ah. Okay. Crud. I'm scared now. Please fix it, Francis. Fr Frederick, I mean, sorry. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Bye. Alright, let's pull you out and put you guys away. Um. Alright. Snaps. Harvest, please. Frederick. Oh, darn. Again, you fall and crush the berries. <sighs> what am I gonna do with you, Frederick? Oh my goodness, I can't with this wagon. No. All right, let's repair something. Oh, I forgot. Oh my goodness, no. Oh, a winter stoic. Francis loses her footing on a slippery patch of leaves and evergreen needles. With an almighty whack, her head collides with the wagon. The impact leaves a large lump and a brief dizzy spell, but not much else. Ouch. Oh, another one. Okay, let's see here. There. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have anything for the hygiene. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm hoping to get some clothes at this next stop. Please make it, please make it. Almost there. And we made it, yay! Thank goodness.
The party rolls toward Fort Nez Pierce, keen to take refuge from the mountain's frigid winds. Oh, those weren't herbal remedy. Darn it. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's a. Oh, I don't I have a little bit of money, right? What do I need, though? Oh, clothes. That's what I. Clothes and toolboxes. Okay, let's see. Clo oh, it's $90 for clothes. Honestly, I will. Hold on. Hold on. Services. Let's do hygiene. Okay. Let's. Francis. Five. Okay, five dollars. Oscar is seven dollars. And Frederick. Oh my goodness, is eleven dollars. Okay. Now. Oh. Let's do wagon repair here. Fully repair the wagon for 59. Okay. I don't think, do I need anybody's health? Oh, I should go look this way. No, I don't. Oopsies. Okay, let's talk to people. The fortress is an imposing structure. Several walls are layered at the outskirts, serving as impenetrable defenses. Trade is only conducted through a small hole in the inner wall, limiting how many people have access to the fort interior. Let's talk to George. The fort's named after the Nez Pierce people, but it's actually located on the traditional lands of the Walla Walla. Boy, I sure hope someone was fired for that blunder. Okay, Joseph. We hold annual expeditions into snake country from the fort. We started doing it after Donald McKenzie provided it was a worthwhile fur trapping venture. Okay. Olo Quat. Hopefully I said that right. You ask about what happened at the mission. I ask you why Dr. Whitman's medicine cursed white children, but not the children for my people. The missionaries spread the measles to us and threatened our way of life. Oh, yikes. Amy Witherspoon? My cousin Catherine was one of six children orphaned and left at Whitman's mission. Lived with them for three years until the massacre last November. She has survived snake bites, stampedes, falls, fights, not to mention a massacre. Oh my goodness. George Bush. Hello, travelers. It would seem the government, in all its infinite wisdom, doesn't want my business in Oregon. The fickle fools. George Bush was never one to take a lashing. I've called in a favor from some old business pals from Hudson's, and we're heading there instead. Good luck to you. Okay. Let's see. We do need to rest for him and because they both have fevers, so let's rest. Continue. Oh. Lodge of stamina and um, you know what? Let's make our people completely happy. Now I'm broke. Meh. Yes, Francis recovered, but not Oscar. Darn. Okay. How do our people look? Look at that. How long does he have? Four days. Oh, can I? All right, let's do medicine, herbs, bullets, coffee, morale. Okay. 
Alrighty then, let's depart for one final stretch. Okay, the Dales. Oh, I don't think I have $10 for the Gunslinger though. Oh no. Darn it. Collect the herbal remedies and collect meats. Okay, we need herbal remedies. Oh, I think that's just berries though, huh? The party leaves the safety of Fort Pierce, stealing themselves for the final leg of the Oregon Trail. Okay. Uh-oh, what's that? Greetings, travelers. What brings you to this Pony Express station? Oh, nice. Station master, these travelers are the kind of folks that healed me. It's only due to their aid that I was able to arrive here at all. They deserve a reward. So these are the folks that saved my best rider. Bob helped set up the Pony Express and completed a legendary ride of 40 hours. He's one of our best riders. It would be a serious blow to the entire Pony Express if we were to lose him. Please take this, travelers. You deserve it. Okay. A hundred dollars? Nice. You're too kind, but I'm glad to be here. I should be able to ride again by morning. Nice. It would be remiss to put you back to work so soon. You rest up. Your mochila will be taken care of. Was there anything else you'd like to know? Let's ask him about the Pony Express. With so many heading west to California in the hopes of striking it rich, certain folks saw the need for a way to send mail out that way as fast as possible. The two Williams, Mr. Russell and Mr. Waddell, along with Alexander Majors, founded the Pony Express just last year in response. We offer the fastest delivery of messages and mail across the West. Our service runs from St. Joseph, Missouri to San Francisco on the West Coast. With our riders, the trip can be made in 10 days, faster even than by ship or stagecoach. By hiring slight, hardy men and putting them on horseback instead of a heavy stagecoach, we were able to make the crossing in only 10 days. The men ride across the country, switching mounts at stations like these and relaying their message when they tire. There's over a hundred of these stations along the route. Quite impressive, no? The riders even use a custom saddle made in St. Joseph for extra speed and attach it to a special bag called a mochila to carry the mail. Of course, prices are a little higher than our competitors, but there's no better way to deliver important information. Not until they complete a telegraph wire out here anyway. Um, talk to Pony Bob. I'll be all right, travelers. Thanks to your help, of course. Don't listen to the station master too much. I'm not that special. It's just my job. All right, let's head out. Safe travels, folks. Thanks again for your service. All right. What's that? What's what? Oh, this tree thingy? Frederick spies a strange object on a distant tree. As the party draws closer, they recognize it as a beehive hanging from a branch. Oh. The beehive is likely full of honey. If gathered, it would greatly enrich the wagon's food storage, at the risk of great pain to whomever collects it. Oh. Um. I'm gonna try it, because I haven't come across a, like, a beehive yet. Let's try it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Frederick. I will give you some medicine if something happens. Frederick reluctantly approaches the hive, eventually gathering a large amount of raw honey, as well as a great many bee stings. He returns from the hive victorious, a bait very swollen. Ooh, 75? Nice. Okay, let's give him something for... Let's restore his health really fast. Sorry, but I made him do that. Okay. Okay, 
we're good now. Ooh, a fox. Oh, a coyote, I'm sorry. Oh, another one. All right, let's harvest. Oh, there was quite a few over there. Uh, Frederick, yes, please. As Frederick reaches into the shrubbery, he notices a handful of old, unfired bullets laying beneath the leaves. Nice! Frederick gathers as many of the bullets as he deems salvageable. And, oh, please bring back those herbal remedies. Thank you. Okay. And a hundred pounds of meat. Okay, so let's go... This way, then. Okay, good. That was our herbal remedies. So now we just need to get the meat. Ooh. No, my wagon! Ah. Oh, thank goodness Oscar has recovered. And it starts to rain. Snag it! The looming clouds at last gave out, showering the wagon in a constant blanket of rain. Arr. The mood is somber as the wagon's wheels slodge over the muddy ground. Ah. The rain pours in through the wagon's damaged can, ruining some valuable supplies. Yeah. At last, the rain clears and sun returns to the trail. Finally! Oh, a bear! Oh! Oh, that's the hunting ground. Okay. I think the fox- nope, can't get that either. So bear and fox here, it looks like that. Okay, let's try it. All right, here we go. Let's not waste bullets. All right. Oh, I missed him. Snaps. Oh, I didn't mean to do two bullets. No. Nope. Only one shot him. Dang it. I tried to do two. Oops, I tried. No. That was a waste of two bullets. Good job, Britt. Good job. Well. Don't think we're getting a hundred pounds of meat. Okay. Let's, let's head to the fishing hole. We got 30. 70 pounds of fish. All right. We'll try. Oh, my wagon. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Anything else? Oh, fishing. Nice. All right. Let's see how much we can get. All right. I don't even see any fish. Oh, snaps. Oh, wait, there's. Can I get there, though? Okay. Ooh, nice. getting better at this. An old leather boot. Darn it. That didn't give me anything. Oh, right there. Okay. Okay, fish, please. Whoa. That's a new fish. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a fish there. Okay, we're at 40. Maybe we will get to be able to do it. 
All right. 55. Oh, I don't know that I can get over there. That water looks deep. Yeah, see? Oh, and the fish is gone. Yes! Oh! So not even a fish. Okay. That's not what I need. Um, 85 pounds. I will take it. Take it and leave it. Oscar manages to catch 85 pounds of fish and bring it all back to storage. Now hopefully it counts towards the meat. Oh, but we only got to keep 60 of it. I should have caught one more fish. Okay. We need to repack this. Um. I don't think it worked though. The party sees a gunslinger up ahead. Even from his distance, he looks tired, but there's something about him that suggests a great weight has been lifted from his shoulders. <gasps> oh, did we do it? I found Coogan, and I had him dead to rights, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't pull that trigger. Make myself that kind of man he is? At least I got the watch back. I was mad as hell, but ending Coogan would have cost me my soul. Mary and little Charlotte need me back on the plantation in Louisiana, so that's where I'm headed. It's what Josh would have wanted, and where I should have stayed all along. Thanks for your company and your advice. I hope you get to wherever you're headed safe and sound. Take these. I don't need them anymore. Ooh, bullets. Nice. So long. I wish you well and the best of luck in your triples. Yay, we did it! Okay, now I'm gonna have to repack. Hold your peace. Nice. Um, oh no, I don't have to repack? Okay, cool. It's 16 miles. Oh, less than that. A musty, sour odor emanates from the wagon, betraying the poor quality of the flower within. Ew. Um, bad flour may be salvageable. Bite very unpalatable if it is baked into hardtack. Um, let's save it. Why not? Okay. Ooh, nice. More rewards. Hi, my wagon. Okay, you go there. You go there. You go there. All right. Please, nothing else. We're getting so close. Oh, my hygiene's getting down there, though. Darn it. No aminos to collect? Darn it. I wanted to collect aminos. Oh, that means we made it. Perfect the timing. As the party crests the final rise of the dales, vast swatches of Oregon country appear ahead. The journey is nearly over. Yeah. Oh, so the fish didn't count. Darn it. Okay. Um, let's talk to people. 
Many travelers have gathered around, either waiting for the courage to finish their journey or preparing for a long trip back east. Alexander? These last hundred miles to the Willamette Valley are the roughest, either rafting down the Columbia River or driving your wagon over the Cascades. My advice is to hire a guide. I know a KS man who's great at navigating the river. Amy Witherspoon again. My cousin Lydia engaged passage down the Columbia with some KS guides, a canoe with 17 people and luggage. Wind blew so heavy, they had to lay by. Near dark, high waves came up and over their heads. Finally, they made it to shore safely. Oh my goodness, your poor cousins. Toll collector. What? I collect the tolls for the Barlow Road, a bargain at twice the price, until last year. The Overlander Trail had no choice. Everyone floated the Columbia. Now, with Mr. Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, what do our people look like? Just their hygiene. Can I get clothes? That's a negative ghost rider. But I do need toolboxes. Let's do a mess. All right, let's go to our wagon. Let's do some repairs. I have four toolboxes. All right, let's do that. Let's see. Actually. Let me do it like this. There we go. And then like this. Oh no, that's open right there and I don't want that. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's check out what we've got. Oh wait, next page. Rare fish, we found a rare fish. Oh, Slippery is an eel, that's right. The Pacific lamprey is not only an important source of nutrition, but also has religious and medicinal importance to many people of the Pacific Northwest. Its population has declined due to human inf infrastructure, threatening to end these traditions. Oh no! Okay. Next. Immigrant trails. Bosman Trail dis discovers 75% of all waypoints in a single run. Oh, nice. Despite its name, the Bosman Trail was actually pioneered Alan Hurlbutt. John Bosman, however, did scout the original, more direct route from Virginia City to Central Wyoming, together with John Jacobs. Interesting. Okay. Hold your peace. Douse the fire. Gunslinging was common in the Old West. It was a way to settle disputes over almost anything. Women, gambling, money, or even a perceived slight or insult. Killings often sparked ongoing feuds between families that could last for generations as each member sought vengeance for the death of another in a violent cycle. Okay. Oh darn, we didn't get those. Oh well. Okay, next page. Next page, there it is. Frail Monument. Oh, no. Talk to Little Mary at every opportunity. Oh, we didn't do that. Remember a party member using one of the new... Oh. I wonder how we do that. Okay. Children on the trail didn't have access to many toys and certainly not mass-produced ones. Toys were handmade from available materials such as wood, rope, and scraps of fabric. Young girls may have learned to sew by making their own dolls. Oh, little Mary. Okay, what do we got here? Um, little Mary never reached her fifth birthday. We promise to keep her in our memories. Oh, most definitely. Okay, next. Um, 
Okay, there it is. We managed to rescue almost every Jagoon, giving their party a great chance of success. Perfect. Okay. The gunslinger located Coogan, but decided not to end him. He leaves for Louisiana to see his family. Hopefully, he has found some peace. Cool. All right, gamers. That's going to be it for today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to be notified when videos are posted. Leave a comment below to show the video some love. I hope you all are having a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Bye gamers.